Welcome to Arizona Long Tails. My name is David and I'm here alongside Rumblebee. Been using it all winter out here in lovely Yuma, Arizona. Got it set up with the Mud Skipper 20 horsepower plus kit. That's a 110 inch shaft, nine and a half inch stainless prop. Everything's been working very well with the setup. Got it made it with the Predator 670 with the aftermarket intake and torque tube exhaust. Other than that, pretty stock engine setup. And the system's been working good, but we got other plans in mind. Luckily with Duramax, they do have something better to offer. So what we got here is the Duramax 999cc engine. The big upgrade from this engine would be the torque. That's what ideally pushes the engines, lets you run a higher prop and gain more speed. We're always dealing with uh, lower RPM stuff, so we need low end torque, and that's where we're getting 58 foot pounds at 2500 RPM, which is a good range that you know this engine might idle at or be running at. Uh, with the stock Predator, you're getting 33 foot pounds. Uh, we do have the torque tube and the intake, should give it some additional benefit, but you know, anytime a engine stock has more power and you could keep it stock, it's going to always be more reliable. So what we do want to do with this build is we do want to see how the electric start works, see if there's a wind diagram. Ideally, we want to keep at, as factory as we can. So keeping the, the electric push start, uh, we want to see how we could modify the speed control, if it can work with external remote. So it could either be a thumb throttle or foot pedal style system. Uh, see how, how that, that could operate. The uh, engine wise, everything else from there is also going to be a good challenge. The uh, setup that we do have, um, not, nothing from Mudskipper bolts uh, directly to their uh, bolt pattern that they have. So we do have to modify both the bolt pattern on the back engine and also this hefty sh output shaft so so this is going to handle a lot of torque and this is a uh, 1.4 inches where typically the stock stuff's dealing with one inch uh, we could see this would be a replacement or the pto that we were hoping to work with and bolt pattern doesn't line up you could see the thread on bolt pattern is in a full full even circle like this the bottom ones are wider than what the top ones would be so we'd have to make a mount or adapter plate and then we would also have to see what we're going to do with the shaft to make that work alongside with the 20 horsepower mounting kits uh, the Duramax 999 has about a nine inch bolt pattern it does have four inches front to back, but it has a wider bolt pattern. So we'd still have to modify this. That seems like an easy uh, setup, but I always feel the shaft output, that's going to be the weakest link. If it's not balanced right, if it's, you know, if it can't handle the torque, what would worry me the most? The engine did come with a uh, muffler from the factory. So that uh, will you know we'll, we'll stick with the stock components because from the gasket systems i compared it to the stock 440s or the predator 670s those uh bolt patterns are different or, or even just the the size of the of the mounts flanges are are different so you know we could see a lot of electronics in there could be good or bad the system for intake looks solid Removing the cover, you can remove the filter. It has a pre-media filter, a full paper filter, and then the intake looks very hefty in there. Or, you know, it's gonna, even from the factory, it's gonna suck in a lot of fresher air. I always like the air from back here because it gets air blown from the, from the even fan assembly going out. Uh, speed control, I wanna see how, how it feels once it's running, you know, how throttle response is, you know, 
giving it half turn if it how quickly it the electronic motor that regulates the throttle uh, reacts to it the start stop engine uh, I know some people have gone to removing the carburetor the electronics and just going to Mikuni but compared to newer trucks that have all these newer features you know sometimes you want to try to keep them you know you're paying money for them that you want to try to keep it in your system and you know trying to keep the engine stock with what it has is and not having to put more money into it would be ideal electric starter got your voltage regulator and then that's pretty basic system oil filter cast aluminum oil radiator it's a beautiful engine weight wise still looking at 110 pounds dry equivalent to the predator and then predator has been working well but yeah we just love to to promote duramax out in the water joey runs it you know other long tails here your numa we're pushing them we're, we're you know we'll get constant 100 plus degree days out here and they they've been then keeping up with the the workload that we're putting them on so the rumblebee is going to be looking a little different hopefully coming coming this spring as long as all the machining side of things don't give us too much of a headache peace out guys